Hi everyone. How has been your day? Hope your day is good. I'm so happy about this graphics class right now. So right now we want to talk about the Pixel Lab app. Like I told you that even though if you don't have a computer, you can still go ahead and use your phones. So right now I'm going to show you how to use your mobile phone to start designing with it at least with some apps you'll be able to design on your phone so right now let's just go directly to open the easy lab app i know by now you must have installed it on your phone you must have downloaded so let's just go that's it here easy lab app so this with this app you can start your graphic design journey that's it so we have opened the app now the pixel lab app now the thing we want to consider here is the interface of the pixel lab app we want to look at the tools that we can make you make use of on this pixel lab app so if you look by the left top corner of the screen you see a, a something that looks like a multiplication sign a plus if you click on it that is where you insert new text you can insert new text from there if you click on text you see it you can see this is the new text it's different from this pre-made text that you will meet whenever you open or launch the pixel lab app now they are the same text anyway but this one will always be there whenever you are opening the pixel lab app now this is just to show you that you can add another text through the this sign Apart from that, we can add the current date also. Then we can as well add stickers. You can see there are many stickers here that you can add for your design, any sticker, anything. Then, apart from that, we have shapes also. Shapes, different kind of shapes you can see. You can see them. So, what you do is you just come down here. See. You click on that small black arrow to get different shapes. You can pick any shape from there, just like I've picked the uh, the the square shape. Now this is uh, a rectangular shape. Okay, so that's that about about the shapes. Okay, so after inserting your shape here, you need to click on the uh, mark. That's to check good, 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 the good uh, mark. That's that. Now you can also import either images or any other object from the gallery. You can go to the gallery. That's on your phone. The images you have on your phone, you can use it to uh, do your graphics work, just as we'll be doing here in this class. So that's that. Apart from that, you can as well draw. You can as well draw. Can you see that? Oh, P help. P help innovations. You can see that. That's great. After doing that, you just mark it good. This is not good because look at it. It's looking like a car. So let's just mark it wrong cancel to go off. Are you sure you want to cancel the current operation? Okay. That's that. That's the confirmation. That is gone. Now, these are the things you can add from that place. Then, this other button by the side, the save, is a save button. Just by the side of the uh, plus button is for saving. If you want to save as project, that is if you want to save this project so that you can be able to edit it again, you go to save as project. But if you want to save a final copy of this project as an image that will not be editable, then you save as an image. We'll be doing this in this class. So as we get there, you understand it better. Then apart from that, the next button you meet there is the share button. The share button enables you to share your project as uh, an image uh, as an image into your phone you can save it into your phone or you share it through social media 
handles like the Facebook, the Twitter, and so on and so forth. So you can share from here. It will share out as an image, a completed image, and not editable. So that's that. You can see the Save to Gallery uh, button there, and you can also see the Share button there. That I will be doing that in this program. Now, the next button you meet there is the quote. You see some ready-made quotes there. In case you want to design a motivational uh, graphics work, you can you see some motivational quotes here. Look at this. If you ask me what I came into this world, this life to do, I will tell you I came to live, to live out loud. Wow. Wow, you are going to live out, live out loud in this training after learning this graphics work. Many are called, but few get up. You can see these are motivational quotes that you can pick from to develop your motivational uh, graphics work if you are designing something like that. That's that. Then, apart from that, you see another button, the three dots. You can click on that three dots to see other options that you can or other uh, uh, places you can go to for other things like if you want to use image from gallery you can go to use image from gallery to take it to your phone storage to pick images just like the one we saw in the plus side then if you want to view full screen of this project or you click on full screen if you want to use image from camera this will open your your mobile phone camera direct. If you want to export image, image size, contact, tutorials, remover, recover, auto save, and so on, about, exit, you see all those things there. Apart from that, if you've gone to the next step down, you will see this uh, pen button. It is an edit button for your text. If you want to edit this text now, just click on that, that pen, then you click the pen. You can easily edit your text like that. Let's say, let's now change it to um, P F F P F Innovations. Good. Okay. You can see it has been edited. There are other things you can do there also on text. You can as well change the text size. Ah, interesting. All these things you see under the under that button that is the pen button then you see copy there and other things all these things will be using in this program now the next one is the delete if you want to delete what has been selected now the text is what is being selected so immediately i click on delete there is a confirmation message that do i delete the selected object i can say okay to delete it or cancel to not delete it then the next button you see there is the undo button let's say i don't want what i've currently what i've done i want to undo it i can just click undo undo and you see that okay great now the next thing you see the next button you see now is the, the zoom button you can use it to zoom you can use it to zoom so that's the zoom button then the next one you meet is the grid line we use this grid line to arrange things on the page if you want to align things you want them to align maybe sideways vertically or horizontally you can use that that's what we use the grid for then this other button by this by the uh, right hand side you meet it that's the last button on the second line you see that button brings other options through which you can edit the contents of the page. So we'll be using all these things in our graphics class. It's going to be very interesting. I assure you that I'm going to show you all the secrets to graphics design. Just relax. I want you to be serious about this class. Just relax. you get everything you want. I've seen all your messages and all those things you need. I'm going to give you. Don't worry. Now, Apart from the top side, the next thing we want to talk about now is the page, the drawing page. You can see the drawing page. So it's there then. The contents of the page will be there. Then if you come down, you see one 
button there, my project. This is where you go to see your previous project, the project you've done before. That's where you go to see them. Apart from that, the next button you see here, these are the uh, things like templates you you can choose from let's say you don't want to start your design afresh you want a template you can pick a template from this ready-made templates here look at it look at this it, although this is going to replace your work if you have done anything before because whenever you want to use templates the template should be the first thing you should click on when working with pizu lab app again i'm going to repeat myself if you want to use the Pixel Lab app template, that should be the first thing you should select whenever you open the Pixel Lab app. Select the template you want to use first before you go ahead into your design. Now, I've selected the template now. The system is telling me that, are you sure you want to open the project? Any progress will be lost. That means that the project I've been doing before, the ones, uh, uh, the things I've placed on the page will be removed for this template. If I say OK, see what will happen. Can you see that? That's it. So we have many other templates here. Keep calm. Hmm. 3D. So all these templates, you can just select any one. Select. Wow, look at this vivid. Now let us edit this vivid. New text. Edit. You remember this edit? Good. Which name should we put there now? Which name? Oh, okay. Let me use. Yes, I want to use your name now. I know your name. Don't worry. That is your name. <laughs> Interesting. I'm enjoying this class. P Help Innovations. Wow. The N is missing. P Help Innovations. Great. Great. So, okay. Let's see how it's going to look. Wow. Imagine that. I don't like the way it looks anyway. I'm going to edit it and make it a small letter. Let's see how it's going to look. Um, no, let's leave the PF as capital letter because it's an acronym. PF Innovations. Innovations. Okay. Wow. Anyway, let's go forward. We have this. No. Because we have a DT. Mm. Anyway, you see all the other templates down there. So that is that. Now, apart from the template side, if you come down, you see that there are other things down. So, the first one there is just to show your project right the following ones will show the text options hmm? text options if i look at the options now the option is to add text and add code that is because i have not selected any text let's say i select this text now, text now. it's going to give me more text options let me select this text. can you see that i ha i now have more text options let me click out the text options have gone now the next button there is for objects like shapes and other things now you can add shape with this you can see shapes here hey, you can add shape to that place let's accept it so that we we'll get more shape options you see that? Wow, let me let me reduce the opacity and see how it's whoa wow. Look at that. Okay. Maybe we are going to design a new um, logo for PF innovations in this class. We're going to see the best student. That person is going to design a new logo for us. Anyway, that is for shapes. That's for shapes. We'll be working on this in this class. Now the next button you meet here is for the page is for the page we can actually um let's put an image for a page can you see that hey um let me see let me use this okay great 
So that is for page. We'll be using that in this class also. The next um, button here is your magic wand. We use it to apply effect to our project. So look at that. Anyway, we'll get to understand more of this in this class. I know you are enjoying this class already. We have not actually done much, but we are already enjoying ourselves. Wow, this is lovely. Now, these are the tools you meet when you are using the Pixel Lab app. Now, in our next class, we are going to be designing a logo. Yes, a logo. A very interesting logo. But before that class, we'll be needing some things in the logo. So the next video I want to give you now is to show you those things we need and how to get those things. What are these things I'm talking about? I'm talking about images, PNG images. How do you get PNG images? Okay, you don't know what PNG images are. PNG images are images without background. Good. They are images without background. So how do you get these images? In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the images. Enjoy yourself.